Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start at the very least on my review of Prick Up Your Ears, the screenplay by Alan Bennett, adapted from John Lair's biography. Um, so, as, as you know, this is based on a movie. I don't know if, I've never watched the movie and I don't know if I ever plan to. Um, but I'm going to read you the blurb so you know a little bit more, bit more about what it's about because that has the proper names and everything to it. Um, and then I'm going to go through and check out some tabs and share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. With it being a movie, obviously it's mostly dialogue that I've highlighted. And uh, so yeah, the, the blurb. Dane reads. This major feature film is based on John Lair's justly famous biography of Joe Orton of the same title and culminates in his savage murder by his lover, Kenneth Halliwell. It chronicles in detail, sometimes pathetic, sometimes hilarious, the deterioration of their relationship as Orton became increasingly successful and more and more of a metropolitan celebrity. So there's a, as you would expect from Alan Bennett, there's a little foreword and he says, From Orton's own diary there is almost no direct quotation, but a line like, My vagina came up like a football, is not one for which I can take the credit. What a great line. Oh, and there's a reference to him writing a script for the Beatles, and they're talking about meeting and uh, making a meeting with Brian Epstein. And Peggy, Peggy goes, now is it Epstein or Epstein? I'm still not entirely sure what it was. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we get that, that line, my vagina came up like a football. And we get this little exchange, this boy will never make a typist. He can do 40 words a minute. 40 words a minute is amateur level, mate. We get this great line, every Wednesday I give the whole place a good going over with Dettol. You ought to feel secure in your mind in a toilet. And Orton says, I've always wanted to be an orphan. I could have been if it hadn't been for my parents. And Halliwell says, no, I want to get on. Writing, John, is one-tenth inspiration, nine-tenths perspiration. And Orton chips in, masturbation. Halliwell goes, no. But that is the quote, I believe. And there's a great line, um, who is the father of Oedipus? Laius. Who is his mother? Oh, fuck his mother. And uh, Halliwell goes to see a psychiatrist and we get, you're fond of your roommate. We're everything to one another. Sleep together, do you? No, but we have sex. And just get this little exchange. This is what it must feel like when one's about to meet the queen. Except when one meets the queen, one normally hasn't just threatened to ram a typewriter up her ass. Normally. Well, I mean, she's dead now, so you know. But yeah, Prick Up Your Ears, the screenplay by Alan Bennett, adapted from John Lair's biography. I mean, I don't know anything about the people who this was about other than what's in the screenplay. So I think I would have enjoyed it more if I'd known a little bit more about the actual history behind it. I mean, there was the introductory essay, but it only gives you a little bit of context. But still, Bennett's writing is great, and it kind of really carried me through this. I think the amount of time I spent right reading this was less than it would have taken to just watch the film as well. So it's kind of a quick and easy one. Um, overall, really, it's just one I've ticked off because I'm working my way through Alan Bennett. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5, it was okay. I doubt, well, I won't read the biography and I doubt I'll watch the movie, so take that as you will. So there we have it. Prick up your ears, the screenplay by Alan Bennett. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.